In the time before the Titans, before the gods of Olympus, a great battle was waged. Hello there, Sarah from 17 once again. This is my God of War Ascension, Titan difficulty, video walkthrough. We are returning to the Prison of the Damned. And this right here is a fight with a Cerberus guy and a bunch of the, the crazy bug dudes with the, the big sticks. So this fight is easier than the first one, even though it looks like it should be harder because there's flackies or flunkies or lackies. I think I just com combined flunky and lackey into, into one word, flackies. <laughs> God, my brain is just dead at this moment in time. I have commentated from the first video of this guide to this video in one sitting and my throat tells the story of that. But what you want to do here is you can block everything I believe. Even that that breath attack I think it's blockable. The best thing to do is test it at the start of the fight and if it's not don't do it again. <laughs> but all you're doing here is throwing the dudes at him you could try and disarm them and throw their weapon at him if you're lucky, but that is a strategy that is going to end in suffering unless you're very good and you're very lucky. So instead, I'm just going to be throwing these guys, spam throw, try and stay as safe as I can, and as soon as they stop or there's a, a lack of spawns, I'm going to focus on the Cerberus because I know I'm safe from him. The one problem in this fight is when he goes in the ground. Because there is absolutely nowhere you can go to avoid it sometimes. You get really unlucky with its splash. This this arena's tiny, and it's, it's a little bit cheap, actually. But you've done tougher things in God of War games, so this should be fine. But just be aware, right now, unless you grab somebody, it can be real difficult getting out of the radius of that move. And I think you can throw these guys off the edge to try and speed this up. I knocked a siren off the edge the other day and she somehow got back on. It really pissed me off. <laughs> but just spam grab. If you if you don't want to spam grab, spam your magic. It's probably going to do massive damage to this guy. Uh, you could do the parry and then climb him and kill the guys while you're on him. But to do that, you need to land the repost or it doesn't stun him. There are a, a hundred different ways to approach this fight, I guess. Like the parry, t you could just block all the minions and just parry the Cerberus and then use him to kill them. That might be a much cleaner way of cleaning them up. But, you know, I tried to mix it up, tried to do different strategies as far as, as these guys were concerned, but... I don't know, I think they really screwed this enemy up. Because on God of War 3, he was hard. He was really hard. On this game, he's not hard, he just doesn't die. He's like fucking the Russian in Rocky IV. Just stands there like a loaf of bread, taking it. And, you know, doesn't really say much. Bread can't talk, but it's still a pain in the ass. There's the. Could you see that? Then he, he went to do a punch, and then he did the ground pound. Cheeky bastard. There's the parry. Oh, the repost did not stun him. Interesting. Maybe this guy's tougher. And the enemies do get tougher, because you'll notice. On the, one of the first videos, I threw a shield at uh, Cyclops, and it enabled me to ride him and execute him. Later on, when I threw a shield at one, it didn't kill him. So they, they're obviously getting incremental life increases. And there he is. So, not the cleanest fight for the perfectionist, but it's functional. It gets you through it, and there are those quick time prompts that I hate. And in my defense, if you if you like them and you've never seen the old ones, check out the old God of War ones. They were so much better. You didn't have to stare at it like an epileptic in front of a lamp with a dodgy light bulb. Like you could actually just focus on what was happening and watch it and then press them. But now that that's done, we need to use the amulet to, to restore this place. And we're actually going to be restoring the prison we started at. And we're going to be going back through this area, which I think it's a really cool use of good geometry. But I do think that, you know, if someone's going to complain, they'll complain about this kind of stuff. But over here is a couple of chests. You've, you'll notice I've not been picking up the, the pamphlets and things. Uh, I already, you know, found as many of those as I could. And when you pick them up, you have to wait before you can carry on. And... I was contemplating editing it out, and then I just decided to, to not pick them up. 
But I'm sure they're online somewhere if you haven't played the game and you're interested in reading them. That right there is a cutscene that I've trimmed out and this is a new enemy. And I don't know the name of it but it's very damaging and it's it's got acid. And it does acid attacks so you want to be careful. But Now we have the amulet, freeze things, combo them, loop them with plumes of Prometheus and, and what have you. Uh, you can block pretty much every attack this thing does. I think it's got a grab. Uh, I know it's got some poison attacks, which you want to get the hell out of, because it drops acid, sorry, not poison. And she does take a bit of a beating, but... She's also got a tits out for some reason. Not really sure what that's about. Do people not catch cold in this universe? It's just madness. But the execution you do to this, this lady when, when she's vulnerable... Watch this. It's just mean. That is so mean. Wow. And she's pretty flexible too, even though it does inevitably kill her. But there you go. New enemy dead. You're only going to see that thing one more time, I believe. And there's two of them. And they do do a lot of damage, but they're underused. You know, for all the enemies that you fight in this game, they underuse some of the better ones. And I don't understand that. Especially considering almost 20% of every fight involves those stupid beetles that do nothing. <laughs> it's literally like living grenades, that's all they are. It's just madness. But there is a weapon just in case you don't have anything to carry. Here is a bunch of just the standard guys you killed at the start. Uh, one strategy here would probably be to try and throw them off the edge to try and do this quicker. But they're very weak so you can really do what you want. There's there's no pressure to be fancy. This is God of War, you know, this is... This does not have the most in-depth combo system of a game. This is pure brutality and efficiency. And Kratos is extremely good at both of those things. And I just got smacked. Really sloppily. <laughs> but... I'm not a fan of R1 being throw. I'm not a fan of what they've done to the throw because it tends to fail you a lot more now. In fact, I don't think I'm a, bit, a big fan of any of the combat changes except for the parry system. And even then, I think I acknowledge that the previous parry system was much more, shall we say, God of War-esque. Because it was, you know, it was simple and brutal. Now it's, 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 it's kind of just like every other parry system. But it's all interpretation at the end of the day, guys. And I would rather them try different things than just keep going down the same path. And the irony of this game is it's being accused of doing nothing but going down the same path. And I think that's just completely unfair. And I've already voiced this opinion numerous times in this guide. But it needs to be said. It just, it really does. It's, it's not fair what they've done to this game. And like everybody I know that's played it thinks it's a great game. I don't I, I don't think anybody has commented on, on my videos just yet or in any of the videos I've checked out saying that there's problems with this game. Which I think more than anything it, it displays a problem with the expectations of the reviewers. Because what the fuck did they think this game was going to be? You know these consoles have been around for a very long time. We're in that really awkward moment of transition. It was never going to be a massive pioneer of new change. It was going to be an extension of a series that is great and a lot of people enjoy. But thanks for watching, and you take care now.